Oh, welcome in everybody to Amalgamation Nation, the AM Nation pod, your source for gaming, sports, anime news, and so much more. As always, I am the Anime Watch, Swole Team 6 Flex, John Cena's best, Shaq Daddy himself, Ryan Green Machine Editor, and today we've got a gaming show, so we're going to get into big xbox uh ftc news that came out over the uh this past end of the week and the weekend as we got some more news today um we'll get into that we're getting some other game news with diablo for season pass season one and uh what other other gaming news as well uh as always you can find the show on twitter instagram tiktok threads all that good stuff it's at am nation pod hit the follow button on all of those you can listen to the podcast on podcast platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and more. Just search Amalgamation Nation. Check out all the latest episodes of there. Twitch.tv slash Undead Black Bull is where you find David streaming. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch gaming sub a month, so give it to Undead Black Bull. Uh, you can also check us out on YouTube. Just search AM Nation Pod on YouTube. You'll find us there, too. Hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. Another cool way to help support the show is the Epic Games Creator Code. So if you're playing Fortnite, Rocket League, or maybe you're on the Epic, uh, Epic Game Store on your PC, use that code AMNationPod, and it helps support the show at no extra cost to you. Joining me today, first, we have Dan the Freakster Frigo. Dan, first, how are you, sir? Hi, man. It's been, a, it's been a long weekend. Other than that, not too bad. Not Just too really bad. hot. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. I uh, I follow some people on Twitter for fantasy football, and they live in Arizona, and they're posting the pictures, you know, on their uh, the car, you know, th- thermometer, and it's like 129, and I'm like, whoo, that's fucking hot. Yeah, it's not very nice. It's 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 a little uncomfortable. A little, that's yeah. all right. It, it, we're here. This is what you expect. It's our winter time, so it sucks, but it's short short lived. Okay, all right. Uh, what you been playing or what you been watching lately, Dan? Uh, so lately I've been playing is mostly just some Diablo 4, trying to get myself prepared for the new season, uh, get, you know, the whole map discovered, and then also find all the altars of Lilith, and, uh, so kind of getting prepared for that, and, you know, it's coming up this week, and then I'm watching, I did watch, uh, Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead, mm-hmm. I did watch that first episode, mm-hmm. um, other than that, I mean, not gaming related show, but I guess I just finished, um, you know, I just watched, which is kind of random, but mm-hmm. I was on Paramount Plus. I just saw, uh, the new Dexter show. Oh, new how Blood. was it? Dude, that was actually a really good season. That, I just binge watched it. It was like 10 episodes, and it only did the one season. And, dude, if you watch Dexter, totally recommend it. I thought it was a great season. Super, just, 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 Every episode at the end of it, man, the fucking cliffhangers, bro. Just maybe keep watching the next episode, and it just was done so well. I don't think they'll make a second one, but totally recommend it if you're somewhat of a fan of that show. Fun fact. I never watched Dexter, but it was always on the list. That's a good show. I, I heard. It. I heard. It didn't end very show. well. Okay. Well, at yeah. least I... <clears throat> Go ahead, Mike. That's what I was about to say. It, it, was, it is a really good show. I've seen it, too, but it did not end well at all. Yeah. Oh well. Do they ever end well? You know what I mean. Do they ever? It's Breaking Bad did. All right. I never watched yeah. Breaking Bad. Sorry. <gasps> oh my god. God know, damn right? it. I know, right? I know. I know. What's wrong with you? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I've tried. You know what I mean. I've tried. It's just like right. I get distracted by other things. I'm like, I can't do. It. It's like I just tried to watch Dune the other day, and I got like an hour and a half into it. I think before I went to go see Mission Impossible, and I'm like, you know, I'm not paying attention enough to watch this right now. I can't do this. There's too much talking. I, can't, I don't understand what's going on. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not paying attention. Um, but yeah, yeah, Dexter is on my list, so I'll have to check that out. Um, the other voice you heard joining us today, he is the Mount Collecting Monster Hunter Mike himself. Mike, how are you? What you been playing? What you been watching? And 2022's champion of our oh, game. Oh, you're right. Don't forget the that. 2022 there AM, we go. Nation, AM Nation Fantasy Critic Champion. <laughs> Monster Hunter Mike. Sorry, buddy. You're right. You're right. It's all right. It's all right. Now we get a <sighs> in the back. <laughs> 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 um, What have I been watching? I've been uh, watching a whole bunch of anime, man. 
Uh, we did our our uh, Weebisode last week. Last week? Two weeks ago? Fuck, I don't even I think remember two, when. Two, two weeks ago. I, I wasn't. Uh, I don't think we were on last week, no. Yeah, and it reignited. We were playing that board uh, game last week, remember? Oh, yeah, you're right. We had uh, Joey in town. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yep. Yeah, and it, uh, it got me, it got a fire in me to uh, keep watching anime. So I've been watching a whole lot of uh, FMA Brotherhood and uh, getting ready for to do the, uh, the podcast on that. <laughs> um, dude, I literally, I've been watching a, a whole just, ton wait, of it. I just love that, like, we had this idea as a group. We're like, yeah, we're going to do this. And we're like, oh, yeah, we got BK and his wife to watch it all. We're like, yeah. And Mike was the only one just, like, not watching. <laughs> we're like, all right, copy that. <laughs> at least you're doing it now did that's it, fine did bk and, and uh and colleen his wife watch it i think they're well they've already seen it once but they uh i don't know if they uh they might no, have i mean i've it. seen it once i've seen it as well yeah, same, uh, same more same. than once yeah they might have finished it i know i did i know for fa- i know are, i did are they going to be on the show for that yeah i mean yeah, i hope so right i mean they'll probably have a baby with them but like yeah <laughs> just crying in the background god damn it just god just, it's uh, not the animals bk it's the damn baby son of a bitch no it's all right it's fine get her just draw a circle i get her, him away <laughs> get her a little stay breezy onesie you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. yeah. uh i also been watching uh uh the fate strange fake uh really good show um i've been watching how heavy are the dumbbells you left i've already seen that like three times over say, you but, uh, love that anime dude I get into phases of watching stuff like that when I'm uh, when I'm lifting. So I've been working out as well. So whenever I'm lifting, I just I like watching uh, anime <laughs> people lifting as well. I'm a total fucking weeb, and uh, I I just love it. Oh man, that's great. Um, let's see. You been playing anything? Uh, I've been playing a whole bunch of WoW. Um, I, I got I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing Diablo for a little bit, played maybe for like a week, three days, mm-hmm. and uh, the, the the XP event dropped, so that was uh, like a like a fifty percent boost and uh, an extra ten percent from the Dark Moon Fair for like a month uh, or close to it, three weeks. Um, and right when I thought I was out of it, the new patch ten point one point five dropped with a whole bunch of stuff to do. Um, more mounts to collect, more uh, pets to collect, more mog, a, a whole bunch of stuff. I've been, I've been gold making, I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. And we got patch uh, 10.1.7 on the horizon already, so right when I think I'm going to get out of it again, it's going to just bring me right back. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, can I, I wanted to ask you this, because uh, David's not here. I was going to ask him about it, but yeah. he's not on. You, uh, he told me you guys played uh, Exo Primal, that new game on Game Pass, uh, yesterday. What'd you think of it? Just first, th- first uh, thoughts on it. Um, yeah, we got in a, a few matches, maybe four or five before the uh, before the night was out. Um, it is really fun. Uh, it kind kind of gets to be a little re- repetitive uh, okay. because on the map you you log in, you drop in, and the uh, you got to do like these little missions: uh, kill dinosaurs, move the move the point, kill dinosaurs, move the point. Uh, up until it gets to the PvP uh, section of the map, uh, that's where it differs a little bit because you know you're playing against other people. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it's basically the same thing. Um, if you played Overwatch, it's kind of like a like a PvP PVE version of it, but not not with heroes. It's just with uh, with dinos. It's like a like a mix between Overwatch and. Uh, Oh, what was that Turok? dino fucking game? Turok and uh, <laughs> Destiny. It's it's like those three games mixed into one. Um, it's really fun. It just it gets really repetitive. So you know, just brace for that. Okay. Unless they add more maps, because uh, from what I saw, it was just the same map uh, over and over. They just you know depend on what point you're starting. Copy that. I know I saw uh, some mixed things on it. I know David said they really liked it. And he's like, yeah, we got Mike to play. And I'm like, oh, good. I'll ask him about it then. Um... <laughs> For me, uh, this week I did a rewatch on all the Mission Impossibles because uh, I went and saw Dead Reckoning Part One on Friday. Awesome, just just a great. I mean, the Mission Impossible franchise is already one of my favorite franchises. Um, I very much enjoy pretty much all of them, um, especially like from uh, well, probably like three on. Like they just kept getting better. So um, really, really enjoy that. Tom Cruise just one of like the last great like 
blockbuster action kind of movie star that's gonna like he's just gonna put out really good action movies that's what he does and uh uh shout out to tom cruise for that one of the to me personally uh not as a person but uh, as an actor one of the best american actors we have and uh that dead reckoning part one was awesome um unlike across the spider-verse where like it ends in a way where you're like you you're like they like cut it really loose or there's a lot of loose ends because there is a part two dead reckoning part one made sure to end it in a way of like you still felt really satisfied with how to end it even though you know a part two is coming um so that was really cool uh also watched fate uh strange like that just really awesome i didn't know it was just a one-off when we put it in our win our wheel uh to spin uh, for our uh anime book club but because uh, I don't know when the actual anime is going to actually start, but uh, that one episode was really good, hour long, awesome, just really really good. Um, Zom one hundred. I've been, I enjoyed the first episode of that. I'll watch the second episode later, uh, and then the third one I'll watch. Um, playing wise, haven't played a whole lot. Um, kind of like how Mike talked about uh, with his anime phase, where like we did a wee episode, and then he just had all this like you know gung ho to watch a bunch of anime, which I love. I kind of went the opposite way when it comes to games i just like i played a lot of diablo 4 uh i played with uh dan and david and nick and them love it it's so fun right now it's the front runner for my game of the year um i enjoyed joy playing it um but then i do kind of go through these phases where i just really want to play any games or just like i'm not feeling it not really like in the in the mood for that um i'm sure we all go through that uh so i haven't really played a whole lot maybe when i get back from cleveland I can jump into uh, Final Fantasy 16. I really want to. Um, very excited to play that game. I just know I'm like I just got to be in a in a good spot to do that. Um, so it's been just a lot of watching things. I think this week. Um, I don't know, man. Fuck it, dude. Maybe I'll, I'll watch Dexter. I know BK's gonna listen to this. Be like, motherfucker, dude. There's all these shows I've been telling you to fucking watch, and you're just gonna jump the gun on and just do Dexter instead. Uh, Dexter yeah. instead. Yeah. Who knows? You know, I might, dude. I, fucking i enjoy me i enjoy that shit so I'm, I'm down um yesterday went to some wrestling some indie wrestling so i was been doing that that was really cool um i did go when i did go to see dead reckoning for mission impossible on friday night it's pretty funny uh well not funny but you know david was gonna go to david and yesi and uh so i left my house earlier um because i knew the storms were rolling in right so i'm like i kind of want to beat the storms so i get all the way out there to the theater uh in naperville and I get out, dude, and it's just, I see all this lightning around me as I'm driving. I'm like, oh, God, just let me get there. Let me get there. I don't want to walk out of my car in the pouring rain, you know what I mean? Uh, and I get out of the car. Wind's whipping everywhere. There's fucking leaves everywhere. I'm like, oh, my God. So I go inside, get my popcorn and my drink, and I'm just waiting to go into the, the Dolby room to, to get ready for the movie. David hasn't left yet. There's tornado sirens going off. Nothing like going into a movie theater as tornado sirens are going off, right? Um, I'm like in there, and they're like, and I think it was Melissa was like, they didn't tell you to evac- you like to go to the bathroom or something. I'm like, nah, you know what I mean. If this is how it ends, at least I'm comfortable in my recliner, popcorn to drink in my hand. There's no better way. You know what I mean? I feel I feel, I feel great with it. Uh, David was supposed to meet me there, and then he like got sick on the way to the theater, so he didn't go. So like, I had to like watch a movie by myself. A little weird, but like you know, it's fine got used to it um but yeah bad bad storms and all that around here um other than that not a whole lot not a not a whole lot going on so but maybe i'll get some gaming done once i get back from cleveland we'll see uh let's get into some gaming news uh one thing i want to talk about uh before we jump into the rest of it is marvel snap so marvel snap released uh, a bunch of uh, card acquisition changes, which is really cool. Um, I'll continue to preach the good fight that I think Marvel Snap is a really awesome mobile card game. Uh, it's also on Steam, too, so you can get it on, on Steam and play on your computer. I think it's really fun. It's not one of those, like, gotcha games. You really don't have to actually spend money on this game at all, um, which is cool. Like, if you want your cards, you don't have to spend money. Um, you just unlock them as you play the game. Um, but what they, they decide to do is they're going to do spotlight caches. The way this is going to work... Um, it's every week there's going to be a new spotlight cache with four cards, right? So with these spotlight caches, I think it's like every 100 tiers you get a spotlight cache. I think that's what the number is. Um, and a lot of these four cards, obviously one in four chance, so 25% chance. It's either going to be, um, like for the instance this week, it was Jean Grey, uh, Null, Living Tribu- uh, Tribunal, and then a ser- random Series 4 or Series 5 card was the other 25% chance. Um, 
And then as you unlock these cards, obviously the, the odds go up to unlock the next ones, right? Uh, I think it's really cool. Somebody that plays the game a lot, I think it's a really cool idea. I think it's fun. I think it's a good way um, to help uh, with players getting more of the new cards that come out. Because the way the system was working before, it's just so hard to get new cards, which then makes it difficult when you're going up the, the ranked ladder and stuff. And if you run into a deck that has, like I don't know, quote-unquote, a broken card, it, it kind of aggravates you a little bit. So... I do like this new system. Um, like I said, anybody who hasn't tried Marvel Snap yet, totally should. Um, it's very fun, uh, especially you know Second Dinner has done a really good job with this, um, trying to make it so it doesn't really fall into the holes that uh, Hearthstone fell into later down the road. Um, but overall, this is a really cool system. So check out Marvel Snap. Uh, Spy Family doing a little crossover at Street Fighter Six. I don't know if you guys, or I don't, you know, Mike in particular. I don't know if you saw the picture. It was very funny. It was like Chung Lee and like Ryu and them, and then it's just like the spy, the Spy Family, all three of them. And I was like, this is really funny. I love this. They're doing like a crossover in Japan. Obviously, Japan gets all the cool stuff. Uh, but if you haven't checked out Spy Family yet, totally should. Um, what else? YouTube introducing playables. I don't know if you guys no they're basically like youtube's going to introduce this thing where very similar to stadia which they just closed down you're going to have the option on youtube to play like some different video games and stuff some of them are like 2d platformers and stuff i don't really know like i guess i'll ask you mike first like if you're on youtube just watching bullshit right maybe you got your low fly playlist playing right low fly girl or whatever uh are you gonna sit there and like, if they pop up with like hey play this game are you gonna really be playing games through your youtube No. Probably not. No. No. <laughs> uh, that's so. not what I'm there for. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, all... Of all the things I, all the platforms I had to play on, that YouTube is not the one thing that comes to mind ever. It's like Netflix. You know, Netflix does that now too, right? No, I do not. And plus, <laughs> fuck Netflix anyways, because of their whole password sharing thing. But yeah, fuck them. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fuck him. I literally text everybody that's like uses my Netflix. I'm like, I mean, I'm down to like keep doing it if we all want to split it or something, I guess. <laughs> like otherwise, like I don't know. You know. Um <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Fuck Netflix. Yeah, but they do put video games on there too, and I just think it's stupid. That's not why I'm there, bro. It's like right. I'm not here on a platform where I'm like watching videos to be like, you know what, dude? I think I really want to play some Angry Birds while I'm on Netflix. Or while I'm on YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, it's just not not what I'm here for. It's a good point. No, it'll probably be clunky anyways. Just like everything Google does, except yeah. their Google Pixels, dude. Heard those are good phones. <laughs> I've heard those are real good phones. So, are they? That's what I've heard. I don't have one, obviously. Apple over here, huh. you know what I mean? But I've heard heard good things about them. Have good things. I've heard. Yeah, you don't have a Pixel, do you, Dan? Do you? Nope, I don't want one. All right, doesn't want to Google Pixel. All right, copy that. Yeah, no, I'm good. What kind of fucking phone you got then, huh? A Galaxy Note 9, bitch. He oh, that's a nice a, phone. Uh, that's a nice phone. He wants, he wants the Fire Phone. God damn. Oh, he doesn't God, want that Fire Phone again. Fun. No, I, didn't, I never want such a thing ever again. <laughs> Another, uh, something else with Amazon, too. We're talking about Fire. I had a, a Fire Stick for the longest time, right? Um, I had, like... I just realized it always lags a lot. Like, it's really slow, especially, like, when I go and I use my grandmas to help her out. Oh, and so well, yeah, I mean, you can, but, like, I'm like, man, this is just kind of sucks, right? Well, David has the Apple TV, right? And he was like, I'm telling you, bro, it works way better. And I'm like, all right, fine. I got one. And, dude, it's so nice. All the apps run smoother on it. Everything, like, loads really well. well Everything's quick. Isn't it just, um, isn't the Apple TV basically just a Fire TV? Because you have the Fire Stick and the Fire TV, um, yeah, so the Apple TV is basically a box, right, that plugs into your HDMI and your TV, um, and yeah, then it, 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 it then. yeah, same thing, and then it just, like, uploads everything, you know, like, whether, you know, your Crunchyroll, your YouTube, your Netflix, all that stuff, it just, it runs really smooth, it runs really it's smooth. So it's like, it's just an app hub. Yeah, 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 I don't use my Xbox for that, so I use that, I use Apple TV <laughs> instead, you know what I mean? it's fine, dude, just saying, just letting you know. True. Yeah. Uh, have either of you ever watched the show The Boys on Amazon? Yes, but I haven't seen. I, I think I haven't finished season two, so I'm, 
definitely behind. Oh yeah! Season. Wow. Oh, you were definitely behind. Um. Well, they are bringing some of the characters from the boys to Call of Duty for this new season, including Homelander, um, and Black Noir and Star Girl. They're all coming out to Call of Duty. Uh, it's really cool. Homelander's like finishing move. I think it. He just like blows them up with his laser eyes. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not gonna install Call of Duty for that. Don't really give a shit. But cool to have cool cool skin there uh for, cool get for call of duty uh ea's has a studio new studio called cliffhanger games they announced the upcoming title based on marvel's black panther will be a new third person single player action adventure game set in the world of wakanda uh they're going to be celebrating the 57th anniversary of black panther's comic debut this july so this month and they're thrilled to announce cliffhanger games a new AAA development studio based in seattle is working on a original third person single player black panther game in collaboration with marvel games mission is to build an expansive and reactive world that empowers players to experience what it's like to take on the mantle of wakanda's protector the black panther uh led by kevin stevens from monolith productions he's already worked on such adventure games such as middle earth shadows of mordor along with some other top franchises which include halo infinite god of war call of duty and others dan i'll start with you are you excited here for a single player black panther game i mean i haven't been too much of a fan of the recent releases of some of the marvel franchise games mm-hmm. and so I, I don't know. I, I'm indifferent about it. I mean, it it can be done well. I mean, I like Black Panther. I like the movies. I like the character. It's just when it comes to Marvel games, that was it. The, the Marvel, uh, you know, Avengers. I had Guardians of the oh, Galaxy. Oh yeah, that was which, bad. Well, I Guardians think, of the Galaxy is fun. See, I, I've heard mixed, and what I've seen of it, I was like, yeah, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks just cin- cinematically and just graphically, it looks good. It'll probably fun for a bit, but I just mm-hmm. don't feel like those are. I feel like they don't do the games very well right now, and so I, I just if it's like if it's gonna be just like how the ones that have been released as of recently, I, I'm not a, probably gonna pick it up. I'll probably watch some videos on it just to see how it looks, but honestly, this is probably something that I wouldn't pick up. I'm not a huge fan. Besides like Spider-Man and Batman games, I haven't really been into many superhero games to be honest with you. It's really hard to do them right. To be honest, it's like it's, it, is. It, it seems like studios really struggle. Great point with Crystal Dynamics and Marvel's Avengers. I got that game for free, and I still felt like I was ripped off. Um, because it wasn't, it just wasn't very good. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah, I've heard mixed reviews. I know BK loved it. Um, other than that, like, I mean, I play Marvel Snap. That's different. It's a card game, but I love that. Um, great point. Spider-Man games are awesome. Um, Mike, I can't imagine that this is something where you're like, yeah, this is my jam. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Uh, I am marveled out. Um, I don't think I'll be checking this out. Even if it comes to Game Pass, I'll just uh, you know scroll past it and uh, go play some YouTube games. You would not play a YouTube game over this. <laughs> over this, yes. You're such a lie. That's awful. You're no terrible way. person. Yeah, you just, you just... Go ahead, yeah, but that, no, <laughs> no, I will. I will not be checking this out. Yeah, yeah I figured. I know. He's like, are there mounts? No, <laughs> I don't need that. Right. No, I don't need Get that. Real. All right, so. This is uh, the meat and potatoes of the show. Microsoft wins their case versus the FTC. That was earlier in the week. The judge denied FTC preliminary injunction request. I'm going to go through here and read some of the some of the uh, rulings submitted by Judge Corley, and then we'll we'll talk about the rest of the stuff and we'll get into this. Microsoft's acquisition of Activision has been described as the largest in tech history. It deserves scrutiny. That scrutiny has paid off. Microsoft has committed in writing, in public, and in court to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for 10 years on parity with Xbox. It made an agreement with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty to the Switch, and it entered several agreements for the first time to bring Activision's content to several cloud game services. This court's responsibility in this case is to narrow. It is... In this case, it's narrow. It is to decide if, notwithstanding these current circumstances, the merger should be halted, perhaps even terminated, pending resolution of the FTC administrative action. For example, explain, the court finds the FTC has not shown a likelihood it will prevent or uh, prevail on its claims this particular vertical merger and this specific industry may substantially lessen competition. To the contrary, the record evidence points to more consumers' access to Call of Duty and other Activision content the motion for preliminary injunction is therefore denied. From there, 
it became is the FTC going to appeal uh, and go through the Ninth Court, Ninth Circuit Court? Uh, a lot of people in the industry were saying, like, I don't think so. I think the FTC knows that it's kind of done. Jokes on us, they did. And then it became a roasting section, uh, section, uh, session of the FTC uh, and their their head as they met in, or went in front of uh, the Ninth Circuit Court, and they were very much ripped to shreds um and then that later this or or the later in the week uh the ninth circuit denied the ftc's injunction uh for an appeal therefore it was clear to pass by the end of this weekend if they so choose um i know microsoft was going to try and tie up all the loose ends with the cma that's kind of all that's left i do believe tomorrow as in monday that is when we'll have a little bit more of a, a meeting between uh, Microsoft and the CMA and see if they can come to terms on that. But it is clear to pass here now in the United States. Then yesterday, Sony signs Call of Duty agreement with Xbox. Now, as this is going down, Phil Spencer tweeted, We are pleased to announce that Microsoft and PlayStation have signed a binding agreement to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation following the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. We look forward to a future where globally players globally have more choice to play their favorite games. Now, BK pointed out in our gaming in gaming chat that what what original deal that Sony passed on didn't just include Call of Duty; it included a lot of other Activision titles, right? Like Overwatch Two and other Activision games. Uh, Activision Blizzard King Games uh, to stay on their platform. Now, when they got to this agreement, that Microsoft reworked the deal, uh, so the original offer from January of 2022 is not the same. This is actually just Call of Duty, not the other Activision Blizzard King Games. Um, like I said, CMA's all that's left, so we'll see what goes from there. Mike, I'm going to start with you. You kept saying it. You kept saying that BK's smoked whiskey wasn't gonna go for nothing and here we are it looks like it is all done xbox will officially purchase activision blizzard king yep here we are man it is a lot to unpack here uh but from the very beginning of the uh the court case from uh against the uh ftc versus uh microsoft we knew they had no no case here they couldn't prove that uh the uh the deal was uh was bad for it was harmful to the consumer uh at all uh they uh i believe it was the third day when they had phil on the stand and uh they kept asking him the same question over and over again and there was a an audible oof uh in the court when uh when the judge told them to just move along he already answered that <laughs> question over and over again so no they they literally they had nothing um <clears throat> Yeah, as for the Sony agreement, uh, that's 100% true. Uh, they had a, a way better deal uh, first, and then they, they passed up on that to see uh, where this uh, c- uh, court case would go. Um, yeah, this um, this new deal is uh, exclusive content for COD uh, only uh, till 2025, I believe. Um, and it's only for COD, yeah. The other games that are that are already there... It, with the original deal, they would have stayed there, but with this one, it, it, everything's up in the air. Um, it, it doesn't include them, and it doesn't include future uh, um, titles from the, from those uh, from those IPs. So yeah, um, PlayStation trying to be petty, they they kind of fucked themselves over. Um, as as with the CMA, I believe they are uh, working with the CMA. Uh, Microsoft is working with the CMA right now. To try to get uh, come to an agreement, and uh, I believe the purchase will go through uh, next week. Um, yeah, that's that's what I got. <laughs> Dan, your your thoughts here? Yeah, I mean, it's I, one one thing actually that I want to say is mm-hmm. I hope that when they do acquire Activision Blizzard, Microsoft, is that they at least get rid of the Blizzard CEO. I think that's one of the first yeah, things that, like, yeah, I think that's already, well, like, yeah, there, that's a thing. Yep. Oh yeah, well, he's getting confirmed though, because like I thought he would, they were still keeping him uh, in office. I mean, I'm sure he'll he'll resign, but 
I hope that's one of the first things I feel like they really need to do is that just with mm-hmm. everything that's been surrounded with Blizzard, I think that's a great way to start fresh with the merger is get rid of that whole entire, like, just people involved with that and the whole harassment and shit. That needs to go. Uh, let me let me check with Mike. M- number one, Bobby Kotek anti fan. Mike Monster Hunter. Mike. Mike, is that true? Is that is that <clears throat> was that confirmed? I thought so. I don't know if it's confirmed, but uh, I I do think Bobby Kotek will get a golden parachute, which kind of sucks. You know, he's gonna get paid. He's gonna mm-hmm. get got get gone out of there, but he is gonna get a lot of money, which uh, kind of sucks. You know, you know, and uh. In a better world, he would have gotten his comeuppance, but not in this one. Now, what I want to ask you guys, uh, on the spot, one game from Activision Blizzard King that you would like to be brought back to life by Microsoft now that they're purchasing them. Obviously, the hope is that you're going to be able to get some of these studios that were all kind of like just working on Call of Duty to kind of go back and work on their own thing. So is there any Activision Blizzard or King franchise that you want brought back to life by Microsoft. I have to think about that for a second. I don't mm. know if Mike has one. Um, I would say Titan. Um, it used to be an MMO that the uh, the uh, team developing Overwatch first started creating uh, before they they just lost all all track of where they were going with that game, and then decided to scrap it, start all over, and actually make Overwatch. So, just because it's an MMO, and I would like to see where that would be going, uh, I would pick that. If not, just revive um, um, StarCraft. Ooh, yeah. I mean, obviously, StarCraft. Okay. Great, great choice, too. Uh, I think what I really like, and this is such a random game, um, I would love, because Activision used to put out some banger transformer games right transformers war for cybertron one of my favorite ones came out on 360 uh, i believe it also came out for the ds and uh playstation 3 and all that F- fun ass game dude one of the best like transformer games with multiplayer and everything um i would love that i would love for them to bring back um let's get spyro the dragon back dude you know what i mean let's do it what one of my biggest pet peeves with xbox they not well, especially now moving forward, they're gonna have Crash Bandicoot and Spyro along with Banjo Kazooie via, oh, yeah. via Pinata, obviously. Um, I think that they have all this potential uh, when it comes to kind of getting into that family friendly game market, right? Like Nintendo obviously has carved out that niche and owns that market, but they have a really good opportunity to do that too, kind of like with PlayStation with Sackboy and Astro Bot and stuff like that. Um, Really, really would hope Xbox kind of dives into that. I'm sure they'll tap into Crash Bandicoot. That seems like a no-brainer. Um, but I would love to see, like, Spiral the Dragon as an Activision game, you know, come back. I think that would be really, really cool uh, <clears throat> just to kind of dive into that a little bit. All right, all right. I, um, I, I just kind of think here. I think if they're going to bring back a franchise, kind of revive it. Mm-hmm. You know, this is just me personally. It would never happen because it's just not a thing anymore. But Guitar Hero was always Ooh. something I really loved to play when I was younger. Now, I know that's not remotely even popular anymore. That was like a, you know, a phase. Mm-hmm. But I totally enjoyed I, Guitar Hero 1. Well, not even 1. I played 2, 3. It was a world tour. And I did Rock Band. did all that shit. Played Guitar Hero Metallica. Hero. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Freaking Beatles version. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. They had all those. Yeah, it was... I. I fucking got super into those. Like, if they were somehow able to revive that, ooh, I don't know. I, I think that'd be pretty dope. I, I would. I don't know if I buy it. That's the only funny thing is, like, would I really get back into it? Maybe. It would probably Maybe. come to Game Pass. Yeah, but the, the whole experience is having the guitar. That's, that's you know, you could do it yeah. on a controller, but it ain't the same. Yeah, right? that's true. So that's that's the only thing where I feel like that would stop is like, are people really gonna invest into that? I mean, again, I like the series. Even I would be like, ah, do I really want to go that far into it and get a new guitar and fucking play? Probably right. wouldn't just because. But that, that's one I probably would wouldn't mind seeing a whole revive of. And actually, another one that I liked. It's an older one. I don't know how popular it is, but if you ever played Prototype, yes, yes, oh yeah, I was like that game was pretty cool. I did, I think I played the second one too. Mm-hmm. But I remember playing the first one and really enjoyed that 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 very the first one. I think I did play the second one, but 
that that's the one that's uh kind of reminds me of like um kind of plays like dark siders you ever played in one of those games yeah so it kind of reminds me of so i, I always got in those kind of play style of games kind of like a just rpg style game and that's one i wouldn't mind seeing coming back either oh yeah that's a good one i really <clears> like <throat> type. that was good yeah that's where my uh my anxiety started with the virtual crowds booing me oh yeah oh, for real yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh a guitar hero <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for it. I was just talking to to somebody about that um, the other day about like Rock Band and Guitar Hero. And I'm like, dude, you know, I would just like it to come back. I think that's a fun, it's just a fun party game, dude. It's a real fun, like when you're with your homies and you just, it's just a good time. It is a really good time. So like, I'd be down. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be cool investing into like the the whole set again like at somebody's house and be like all right so then when we go over there we can play some rock band and play some rock guitar yeah. hero okay, i'm right. gonna jam all right dude for real the Wait, can I change... go ahead <laughs> i want to change my answer actually oh yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead just make overwatch better again <laughs> <laughs> get, get rid of all that bullshit can you oh, get man. jeff kaplan right. back please please <laughs> yeah yeah i mean it's technically not activision anymore so we don't got to follow that heavy monetization so just true, true. just make everything better again <laughs> yeah. yeah i also yeah. i know bobby kotek when he was on the stand talked about he's like i can't see world of warcraft going to like the xbox game Pass as like a you oh know, fuck him. yeah fuck you dude i guarantee you at some point that the, your wow subscription is gonna get linked into your xbox game pass subscription i just know nah that. My guess is he said that because he that's what he had to say. Because yeah. obviously Bobby Kotick would oh, not sure. put in it. But it, it makes Xbox look good. Like, hey, yeah, this motherfucker won't do it. But guess who will? Papa Phil. Papa Phil, dude. Phil the Thrill Spencer, baby. Woo! Uh, so it would be really interesting. Like I said, uh, the CMA stuff, that should all get hammered out this week. And we should be good to go. And this should all be done. Otherwise, for all those listeners in UK and Britain, you're fucked. Sorry, bud. You know I mean, hmm. yep, it'd be great. Um, I don't know if you guys also saw too. Xbox officially like reopened a bunch of like old Call of Duty Xbox 360 servers you could play on right now. It's like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare. Uh, you can play those old 360 servers right now. So that's what you're vibing with. You can do that. For real? Yeah, they're yeah. open. Back- Xbox <laughs> Xbox owns them, so they're like, hey, fuck it, dude. We're just gonna open these servers true. up. Yeah. You know what I mean, I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt them. You know, they're just like, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Um, something else going on right now. The actors and writers of America are on strike. This is the first time that both the writers and the actors uh, unions are on strike together since the 1960s. Um, one of my biggest things here, I know, I know if BK was here, we, this would be a really long uh, discussion. But like one of my things about this is that Bob Iger, CEO of Disney, right, who um, makes a lot of money, in case you're curious. Makes a lot of money. Uh, went on talking about how, like, the demands, just, like, they don't really make sense. And it's just, like, I understand because those businesses are the ones paying, you know, his salary and where his stance needs to be. But at the same time, without these writers and without these actors, you're not getting all these movies, right? We're not getting the Marvel Universe. We're not getting Star Wars. We're not getting all these Pixar movies, like you know, all the stuff for Disney plus and like, I'm just focused on Disney obviously because of Bob Iger, but, um, you know, in, you need in the United States of America, $26,000 a year is what you need to make to be able to get your health insurance benefits and stuff. And there's a lot of, I don't know that I, I have not sat here and dove into like all the demands on both sides and like things like that. But, um, one of the biggest things, especially because streaming has become so popular, right? So Netflix and HBO Max, well, Max is all they're called now, and like Paramount, Peacock, and like these shows, a lot of these writers and actors, they're not actually getting any residual checks, or if they are, they're very, very small uh, residual checks and stuff like that. Um, so I know that's a big thing. I also don't know if you guys saw this. This is the one thing that got my head scratching where I'm like, that is terrible, and I don't know why this was offered. Uh, one of the things that the studios offered to the writers and actors uh, specifically the actors, was that they would pay them a one-time payment to uh, have their like likeness and their voice recorded with AI. Then those studios would be able to use the, that AI anytime they want to for whatever project, and they wouldn't have to pay the actor for it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's kind of fucked up. You know what I mean? Well, hey, 
I don't know if you've seen the new season of Black Mirror, but there's an episode <laughs> literally just about something like that. At least very close to that exact situation you just described. So it's like fucked up. It's super fucked up. It is fucked up. And after watching that episode and knowing that, uh, nope, would never do that. Never, dude. Never. You're not going to AI the podcast. You know what I mean, dude? No, because like anything else, they'll take advantage of it to the max and yeah. screw you over. So, no. Never uh, sign anything of yours to someone else to use without your consent. That's, that's weird. That's right. That's right. Um, next thing you know, we got AI Mike on the show, like randomly doing sports ah. shows, and he's like, "What the right. fuck, dude?" <laughs> <laughs> what was really I mean, was a jackass. <laughs> I mean, the listener doesn't know. For all they know, we could be AI right now. Do, 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 do. I wouldn't be in a simulation. Yeah, it yeah. could, it could be. Uh, but no, I would never do that. Fuck that. It's insane. Um, it's insane. It is insane. Um, so a lot of um, uh, movies now have been halted. The production's been halted. Obviously, listen. I, again, I you know I've listened to like Matt Damon and like all these other people coming out and you know supporting the the actors union and the writers union and like hey, listen, we gotta. It's not about us. It's not about those top tier actors and actresses, right? It's not about them. They make a shitload of money and they know that. It's about the lower people that don't make as much money and they really are living off of those residuals of checks and things like that. Um, uh, so it, it's really cool to see all of them come together. They gotta really stand with it, though. That's a big thing. Uh, you can't break in this situation, right? You gotta, you gotta really put, hang on, and dig your heels in and get what you want, man. Fuck that, you know what I mean? Like uh, the fact that that was even offered to them, that AI thing was like, I said, this is so fucking stupid and out of touch. It like blew my mind. I was like, why would you ever think that that's a good idea? What? That is awful. Um. Mike, I, don't think it's really, I think it's a good idea. They probably just you know, like to take advantage of some people who are just yeah. looking to start out. It's fucked up. You know what I mean? Next thing you yeah. know, like they got some random actor or actress on fucking OnlyFans because they're like, hey, we own their their likeness now via AI. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's fucked up. Um, one sad thing about this, obviously, uh, with all the movies productions being halted, that means Deadpool three had to stop uh, their filming. Dan, did you see the uh, the suit? The Wolverine authentic yellow and blue yep, suit? Yeah, that looks so awesome. Fucking hyped, right? I'm hyped. Yeah. I mean, come on, it's Hugh Jackman. How you cannot get hyped, man? Like, you came back, baby. That's right. That's right. Uh, Mike, any thoughts here on the uh, writers and strikes? Uh, the ri- uh, actors and uh, writers union going on strike? Uh, no. Uh, I don't really watch a lot of TV or movies, so this, uh, I don't want to sound like a dick, but this doesn't really affect me. <laughs> That's true. Uh, <laughs> no, no idea what's going on. I, I, I listen to podcasts and shit, and shit, and, uh, they, they talk about uh, the writers that have been on strike for a while, and the actors finally joined, but I have no idea what's, what's going on uh, beyond that. Uh, unless, uh, mangakas and, uh, and Japanese animators go on strike, uh, I would fuck, dude. Yeah, then they, then I'm fucked. I I don't know what what any of this is. This is your show, dude. I just uh, I just finished the entire uh, six parter of last podcast on the left for the Manhattan Project. So good, dude. So good. So good. I was in tears you ready? laughing at one point. Just you ready for Oppenheimer? <laughs> I am, dude. Oppenheimer, uh, Iwo Jima. I was laughing God. so hard, dude. Oh, no, man. I haven't that podcast in a long time, dude. Their entire oh, yeah. six-parter on Manhattan Project, Dan, so good. It's really, okay. really good. I, I'm gonna add that to the list then. Yeah, let's well, stop plugging them and plug <laughs> plug us. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Arab Nation, Iwo Jima. Right. Yeah, it was very good. Um, <laughs> Speaking of very good, let's talk about Diablo 4 a little bit more, right? Uh, Diablo 4 Season 1 comes out, as Dan mentioned earlier, this week. It is the countdown's three days, 15 hours and 7 minutes currently. Uh, some of the season features for this will be a new quest line. Sanctuary has been corrupted, overtaken with an infectious turmoil, creating abominations that roam freely. But who is to blame for this new wave of corruption? Partner with Coromond, a former pre- It sounds like a Digimon, dude. It it really does. Uh, for- <laughs> Coromon, go! Inspiration, uh, come on. Digimon. <laughs> a former priest of the Cathedral of Light to discover the source and stop the spread of mal- malignant, malignant, malignant. I can't say that melatonin? word. Melatonin? No, no, melatonin? No, no not <laughs> mal- mal- malignant, malignant. Man, that's really hard. At all costs, I don't know what that word what is. is. I'm sorry. Yeah. Malignant? Yeah, malignant. There you go. Thank you. Hey, sometimes you I'm s- on. Sometimes I'm not. You know what I mean? I, I got this. I'll edit this. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a sea anemone. Oh, you guys, you made me ink. 
You gotta say it in Sean Connery's voice, and then you'll be able to say it. <laughs> oh, malignant. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> Defeat these powerful, corrupted enemies to harness their malignant hearts <laughs> with over 30 new malignant yeah. powers to wield. The might of mal- malignance is yours for the taking. Uh, be new boss battles as well. Score the malignant tunnels to search for catalyst of corruption. Make your stand against Varshan, the consumed, and uncover the secrets of Malignant. And there will be new gear as well, with six new unique items discovered, seven new legendary aspects to earn along the season journey. There are more powerful options to harness for every class. There's also free rewards as well, including season journey, season blessing, seasonal titles, clothing, and weapon transmogs uh one of the cool with premium the armor sets you got the cauldron armor so this armor is forged for the sole purpose of resisting the malignants spreading across the land dan i'll start with you how you feel about season one malignants from diablo oh, 4 dude. excited for it bro i mean this is what we're preparing for so now like i said earlier i've just been getting myself prepared for the new season so i'm trying to figure out still debating what character i want to roll for the new season because i know i mean there's a lot of new players for diablo so i know it's been kind of a conversation that's been held that people are like you can't you, you could transfer your character to a new season obviously but it's not you, you can't really get into the content without making a new character and i don't know why like i guess for a lot of people that's not like they didn't know that so i, I guess that's one thing that I thought that was kind of funny. But, again, I am super hyped for it. It's just, uh, like you mentioned earlier, Ryan, it's just that I've been kind of, like, not playing games too much, kind of, like, out of it. And then when Diablo 4 came out, fucking got me hooked back into it, been playing that, and and just kind of bring me back into the, the video game world because I've been kind of on a little bit of a hiatus lately because I've been kind of bored of just the titles that I have. I'm like, there's nothing that's appealing to me, don't really want to play. And so, but this is the one game that keeps bringing me back for more. So, like I said, I'm, I'm getting ready for it. So, the next thing I'm doing right now is just doing the Altars of Lilith, getting as many as I can to get the uh, the seasonal buffs for my new character and going from there. Oh, yeah. Mike, are you ready for, are you excited to do season <clears throat> one? Um, I don't know. I got to check the rewards, uh, look at the sets, and uh, they got to bring pets and wings back. That would make it a lot better. That, that's usually what got me into uh, into Diablo 3 seasons. Mm-hmm. So I'll look at the rewards and I'll decide. I, I still got to do season 4 of uh, Overwatch. I haven't even started the Battle Pass yet. And uh, like I said, 10.1.7 uh, is on the, on the horizon. So uh, probably going to make a Warlock Draenei. So if I got time or if the rewards are really good, I'll get back in. And if not, I'll catch me in season 2. Ooh. All right, here we go. Diablo for season four, or uh, Diablo four, season one this week, and let's wrap it up with a little sad, sad <clears> news. <throat> well, I guess it's sad for some, as all of us remember uh, Xbox Gold. Mm, tough, tough. It's coming to an end. <laughs> it's coming to an end. <laughs> I wish I had it earlier, Mike. I was going to give you this one. Uh, if I, when you said, "Yeah, clap for me," a little applause. I was going to give you this. Oh, you should have done that. Yes. I know, I didn't know. I forgot that. Uh, I always forget Discord has these now. But yeah, there you go. Uh, Xbox Gold is coming to an end after 21 years of service. The term Xbox Live will be eliminated. Xbox Live Gold will change the Xbox Game Pass core beginning September 1st of this year. In order to enjoy online multiplayer and various benefits, you must subscribe to the core service. Uh, the price, of course, is the same as existing Xbox Live Gold, which is ten dollars or nine ninety nine a month, nine ninety nine per month, or fifty nine ninety nine per year. All existing Live Gold subscribers will be converted to core subscribers. Uh, some of the some of the things here. So there's a different tiers, right? You have Xbox uh, Game Pass Core, which is online console multiplayer catalog of over twenty five quality games on console and member deals and discounts that is 9.99 a month you have console game pass which is 10.99 a month you have pc game pass for 9.99 a month and xbox game pass ultimate which is 16.99 a month uh mike here the at the end of xbox live as we know it about time uh yeah, that's it, man. But just like the writer and actor strike, this doesn't affect me. I I just have the ultimate, <laughs> just yeah. uh, roll over every every month. So. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> exactly. Oh, Dan, probably same for you, bro. I don't think this affects you either. Oh, not at all. I mean, again, I have Ultimate 2 and then uh, Xbox, what, Xbox Gold. I mean, honestly, does anybody even use that? Because why would you use that when you have Game Pass, which is just so much better? So, you know. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, but if I mean. they want to reach out to me for my likeness, hey, get me paid and get me laid. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, you, you can have my likeness. Do whatever you want with it. All right. Copy that. Make, make all the shows you want. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is Mike got all these Grace by Rain shows? Like, what's going on, dude? Uh, why is he out there talking about sports? <laughs> yeah, like, what's he doing, dude? There's no way. What? This is a crossover episode? What? Uh, oh, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, make my own podcast, Mike, Mike and Mike. Oh, my God. That used to be a radio show on espn radio for a long time mike i don't really? know if you have the right i don't know if you have the rights for that yeah oh shit <laughs> it's mike squared you do that mike squared nah mike uh well we'll think of something all right yeah there we go we'll, we'll figure it out figure it out uh any other gaming news or gaming things y'all want to talk about before we wrap this up <clears throat> All right. No, we're good. no, that's that's it. All right, let's wrap it up. As always, find us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Threads. It's at AM Nation Pod on all those things. Just hit the follow button, subscribe, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. Listen to the podcast on podcast platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and more. Just search Amalgamation Nation. Make sure you fo- follow, subscribe on there as well. Uh, share with your friends, family, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. Twitch.tv slash Undead Black Bulls, where you find David. Obviously not today, but Amazon Prime members do get a free Twitch gaming <laughs> sub a month, so give it to Undead Black Bull. And also, that other cool way to help support the show at no extra cost to you is the Epic Games Creator Code. So whether you're playing Fortnite on your Xbox, Rocket League on your Switch, or maybe you're playing on the Epic Games Store on your PC, use that code AMNationPod, and it helps support the show at no extra cost to you. Until the next time, everybody, have a great week. And you stay breezy. And we don't have juniors, so we can't end on a quote. Just, just know, end with thinking. a clap. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. A lot more sound. Yeah, there we go. We'll do this one. We'll do... Uh, oh, my God, dude. You have to do that now. If, when you introduce him, you have to, like, get like, the lawnmower sound starting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a lawnmower right here? <laughs> Who is that power in that lawnmower is? Oh my god, he's coming around the corner around the fence line. <laughs> Batting A. Batting A, riding a lawnmower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>